Hey ladies and gentlemen, this is Alex again. Um, little update here, but more of a video response than an, up, than an actual update. Um, the video response really pertains to the question that I've been getting asked left and right is, how did I lose the 43 pounds before surgery? Um, all of you know that I lost 43 pounds before surgery. Um, I had three weeks to lose weight. Um, the story is that when they finally told me the surgery date, I went to see the surgeon. I was a little overweight. I was about seven pounds over. So I was supposed to start the pre-op dieting and all that stuff. And he told me personally, he said, don't do the pre-op because you're not going to lose enough weight. We need you to crash diet. Uh, we need you to lose more weight. So I said, what's the, what's more weight? Then he, you know, crosses his legs and he looks at me and he goes, you know, human being is capable of losing 10 pounds a week, 20 pounds a week, if they put their head into it. So I looked at him and I said, uh, well, you know, I want the surgery, so I'm going to commit to any diet you tell me to do. Am I supposed to do a pre-op or what? He says, forget about the pre-op. One protein, he goes, one protein shake a day one meal a day, a large bowl of salad with chicken or whatever you feel like, but just it has to be salad. No iceberg lettuce because iceberg lettuce of course what we know is you know, iceberg lettuce you might as well eat rice because it's not it's not good for you. It doesn't do anything for you. You know what I mean? It passes right through your system like nothing. Um so he goes, you can do arugula, you can do spinach and you can do um romaine lettuce, dark greens, um kale or whatever that's gonna make you go to the bathroom and it's real fibrous and so I went home, I had three weeks. I said to myself, I got three weeks to lose weight so we can get the surgery done that I've been battling for and beasting for. So I came home, I went and bought myself a protein shake, um, the Synthesis 6 chocolate protein shake, which is probably the best one. Um, for three weeks, one protein shake a day, a whole bunch of water throughout the day, and at night a large large bowl of romaine lettuce with spinach and I was souping it up with chicken or tuna fish or salmon or pieces of shrimp or just a, a lettuce with a, you know hard-boiled eggs inside um, and I bought about five bottles of different dressings one being French one being um, Vidalia onion and something I forgot it's, it's just really good um, creamy balsamic and uh, what is it, a uh, light Italian vinaigrette or something like that from Kraft. So, you know, so I could uh, spruce it up a little bit. I brought croutons, nacho strips for salads and stuff like that. Little pieces of uh, low-fat cheese, little hams. And, you know, basically I was just sprucing it up. But that's all I ate for three weeks. And the day of the OR, the day of surgery, June 7th, they weighed me and I was minus 43 pounds. Um... Now, people say, oh, but why didn't do the pre-op diet, like they said, even though the surgeon told you because of the liquids. And the pro point is this, ladies and gentlemen, that the pre-op diet is just really to shrink your your liver because, you know, you have a fatty liver. It's more to shrink your liver and kind of, like, dry you up more, and, you know, kind of, like, squeeze you like a sponge. And, and that way, when you go to surgery, you don't have, you know, a fatty liver and you don't have a lot of water inside of you and whatnot because... You know, laparoscopically, they're going to go in with those little things, poke five holes around your abdomen, blow you up, and they're going to rip your stomach from your lining, and they're going to cut that stomach up, pull out the other piece of the stomach with, the, with those hormones that tell you to eat. And in about two and a half hours, you're going to be up. Three, maybe tops, depending on the person. I was up in three hours. I was walking in five um, around the uh, recovery room. So... That's what I did. Um, if you want to follow what I did, you're more than welcome to. Trust me, there's nothing bad by crash dieting for three weeks. Don't do it for more than three weeks because it's really bad for you. And do take your multivitamins every day during those three weeks because you're going to lose a lot of energy and you're going to lose this. But you know what? After surgery, your life is going to start and everything is going to be different for you and you're going to feel great. Right now, I lost 87 pounds. That's 14 pounds that I lost in three weeks ago that I saw my dietitian. No, 
sorry, a month ago. I see her Tuesday. Um, I know that, uh, she might alter my diet. Hopefully she'll tell me now I can start eating, you know, some corns, a little bit of potatoes and stuff like that because I wasn't allowed to for uh, 90 days after surgery. So, you know, come this August, Tuesday, I forgot the date, um, it's been 90 days. So let's see if she says you're allowed to eat a little bread, you're allowed to eat some crackers. I mean, not that I care. I'm not beasting. Uh, I'm not anxious to eat it or anything. So, you know, I'm sorry that it's dark, but I'm into couch you know and i don't feel like turning on lights so i got the lights in front of me support giving me the light um so like i said your life is going to start after surgery all right ladies and gentlemen so take your vitamins take your maprazole if you're on them take your high blood pressure pills if you're on them uh take the ursodiol which is for the goal to prevent gallstones take those as suggested by your practitioner or surgeon whoever you're dealing with um please see your primary Anything you feel weird, you feel different, please see your primary and let the team know at the Weight Doll Surgery Center um, because basically your life is in their hands and the prime, your primary as well. For instance, uh, about two weeks ago, I felt numbness, tingling sensation on my left thigh. Um, and I waited and said, you know, maybe maybe it's, you know, it'll, go, it'll pass by. Maybe I hit my leg or something. Um, I emailed the practitioner. I told her. She said, call your primary and make an appointment. I made an emergency appointment with my primary in Montefiore. And, uh, which, is, by the way, his name is Dr. Lee Burke. Wonderful doctor. Wonderful. Um, he's truthful. He's really honest. And when he first saw me two years ago, he looks at me and he goes, you need to lose weight, buddy. You know, you're heavy. You're on the verge of dying and you're on the verge of diabetes and heart uh, disease and stuff, this and that. And when I saw him last week... Well, I didn't see him two years after. I, I did see him after surgery uh, for my follow-up. But this was in June, mid-June already. But um, since then, when he saw me last week, he goes, What's up, Slim? So, I, you know, I smiled. It made me feel good. And he says, Wow, 87 pounds since June 7th. And I said, Well, I did lose 43 before. So let's say since uh, mid-May till now, I lost 87 pounds, yes. And... Uh, Let's say also that I didn't exercise hard during the month of June and July um, due to the death of somebody, you know, very special in my life. But, you know, back on track, walking, doing some exercise, and now I'm losing the weight a lot faster now. Um, so I, I really can't wait to hit the lucky hundred um, because that's a feat. I mean, how many people do you say, I lost 100 pounds? You don't hear anybody say something like that, yet alone 80 pounds, 70 pounds. 87 pounds like I am right now you don't hear it and you know it it makes you feel triumphant it makes you feel like a king like a queen for you ladies you're gonna feel unstoppable you're not gonna be ashamed to do things anymore you won't be ashamed to go into a restaurant and say do I fit there do I fit in this chair will this chair break um, you're not gonna be afraid to sit behind a booth at a restaurant or something and say do I fit there can I get my stomach and my body through there you know, you're not going to be afraid of a lot of that. You're not going to be afraid to sit in people's car thinking you're going to break the seat or that you don't fit inside. Or you're not going to be afraid to drive people's car thinking you don't fit behind a steering wheel because you're too big. You're going to have more confidence in yourself. And believe me when I tell you, yes, I do feel it. And, and everything I'm describing to you, it's from my own personal life that I went through. And I don't go through it no more. Uh, my friend let me drive his car, his brand new car. I drove it without shame, and I got behind it, and I just smiled, and he smiled at me, and he says, bro, this is the first time you actually drive one of my cars, and I was like, it is, but you know why? You know the reason, and he goes, I know, you don't have to explain it, you don't have to tell me anything, and you know what? It felt good, felt marvelous, so for you guys who follow me, who subscribe to me, who are watching this video, this is, this is not my third month post-op, but my third month post-op video that I'm going to do is... September 7th, all right, um, this is just a video response for those asking me, what have you done to lose those 43 pounds before surgery, and that's what I did, one protein shake a day, a whole bunch of water, and I'm talking about three liters a day, and in a large bowl of romaine lettuce with spinach at night, and you could, you could spruce it up yourself, like I said, with chicken, anything, 
beef, tuna fish, salmon, whatever you feel like making that salad with to make it make you eat it, make you want it every night for three weeks or two weeks, whatever your post op is, do it. Because in the end it's gonna help you and it'll be it'll help for less complications during surgery. Alright, and for those of you who get in surgery anytime soon, I wish you luck. Uh, remember you're not alone. You have your friends, your family, and you have us people on YouTube who's been through this experience that you're going through now and you're going to be going through in the next few weeks days or months any questions you have feel free to you know write in the comment box like the video and you guys can follow me on twitter at hookah brolic that's h-o-o-k-a-h brolic b-r-o-l-1-k um to, on twitter and on facebook you can follow me on facebook.com forward slash brolic b-r-o-l-1-k um and just to let you guys know i am going to be making up another video account another youtube account one for my uh weight loss success vlogs um and another one for my personal life because i know you go on my page on my youtube channel and you see a lot of videos of hookah reviews and, and old videos like that so i'm going to take all the videos that i've done from surgery and i'm going to move it onto my new account and i'm going to make a new twitter account also for the guys and people who want to follow me because I've been getting a lot of emails and messages of people asking me questions and stuff like that. So please don't be afraid. Ask me anything you want. Um, and if for those of you who just got surgery not too long ago, well, before me, because, you know, ask me anything. Please. I don't see a lot of you guys commenting. Don't be scared. You know, ask me questions. I'm here to help. This is all I'm here for. This is why I'm doing this video is to help people who were in my shoes. Alright, so with this I'm going to end the video. I'm reaching the 12 minute mark. I don't mean to rant, but I do rant and I can't talk. Um, it's 3.27 in the morning here in the Bronx. So I'm kind of tired also and I'm going to be heading to bed. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so again, this is Alex. Peace. Good luck. God bless you guys who are doing surgery soon. And uh, don't be scared. Alright? Over and out.